four months ago, Environment Minister Greg Hunt launched Australia's first threatened species strategy, and that strategy is ruling a line in the sand on extinction, including for the numbat, which is one of 20 mammals targeted for recovery by 2020. And I'd like to congratulate you for hosting World Numbat Day because I'd like to see more numbats across Australia in places like this where they used to be. We have one of the highest extinction rates in the world and the threatened species strategy is ruling a line in the sand on that. Numbats are one of 20 mammals that we're committing to recover by 2020. And as Threatened Species Commissioner, I can't have favourites. I have to bat for all 1,800 threatened animals and plants in Australia. But I can tell you that the numbat has a special place in my heart. As a young boy, my favourite book was Rusty the Nimble Numbat, which sadly is about a subspecies of the numbat that's now extinct. I read that book to my children and I want all Australia's children to enjoy numbats in the future. Hi, my name's Tilly and I'm eight. Daughter of Gregory Andrews, Commissioner of Threatened Species, and today I'm going to talk about numbats. I never really knew about them until Daddy told me about Rusty the Nimble Numbat book. I really like numbats because they're small, cute and they're not just like cats, kittens, dogs and puppies. They're just really cute animals. Be Numbats are important because they're an endangered species and there's not very many left. And they're very cute and cuddly. And um, happy world, Numbats. Apart from saving Numbats where they are, I want to see Numbats right across Australia in South Australia, New South Wales and all of the other places that they used to be. So I'm committed to working with you and other Australians to see that happen. Australians need to love their native wildlife more than their ferals and that's something that concerns me as a father when I buy my daughter pyjamas at Big W or Target or Kmart I can find pyjamas with feral foxes, feral cats and feral rabbits, but not numbats, bilbies, bandicoots, quokkas, woilies or quolls. None of the remarkable Australian animals that define who we are as a nation. So I'm so excited that you're hosting World Numbat Day. We also announced almost $2 million of Australian government funding to tackle feral cats which are the biggest threat to our mammals, and to build on the terrific work that's happening here in West Australia with organisations like DPOR. The Western Shield program has done a terrific job tackling foxes, and this additional Australian government funding is going to help species like the numbat by getting cat numbers down too. We've lost 28 species to extinction from feral cats, and another 124 unique, remarkable Australian animals like the numbat are at risk. So I'd like to invite everyone to join me in tackling feral cats. The future of the numbat should be that there are numbats everywhere. And I reckon the world needs... Wait, what was that? Congratulations. Congratulations on fighting against extinction and helping the numbats. So let's get together, do our best and save the numbat. Have a terrific evening and enjoy the day and I hope to be back in West Australia soon to see more numbats in the wild. Thank you.